Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fishkeeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Alright, so here you see uh, some fish swimming. These are my newly acquired uh, tiger barbs. And I got my tetra a few weeks ago. I bred my tetra, you saw the fly swimming. But uh, I guess it was the temperature. Uh, both indoor and outdoor, they are died. So I'm presently um, grooming them, yes, grooming them for future breeding purposes. So how do I actually groom uh, these fish for, for, uh, for, for, for future breeding purposes? Uh, the number one thing is that these fish are females, right? So they all have bulgy stomachs, right? Cool. And what I try to do, I try to feed them a high protein nutritious food so that they will be healthy and strong so uh, the eggs will develop and will be easily fertilized in the new well, in the first quarter of uh, 2021 right so I what I did so as to ensure that I do not have the premature um, not, not premature ejaculation but premature expulsion of the eggs um, by these uh, tetra and the barbs uh, is to actually separate the males from the females so in this aquarium i have all the females right and you have of course you have seen my other video in which i've shared with you uh, the best possible way to breed your tetra and the barbs so i'll be using that strategy so as to get some fries out of these um, ladies right and i am presently um trying to get one of our ponds outside to grow a lot of algae so that when the fries are there they'll be able to um feast on the algae and the microscopic organism so um to us to get that what i did was to actually place two fish in it yeah male and a female to actually breed right and uh, it will take a while for them to breed because they are newly coupled and the water uh will end up allowing the side of the pond to get green so by the time uh they have actually laid fries have actually grown uh the water the, well the side the siding of the ponds should become green uh with algae laced with algae and the, it should be nutritious for um other fries that may be coming that way uh what i've also done so as to prepare uh, these bars and these tetra to have healthy bouncing fries um in the very near future is to separate the males from the females now uh the males are in a different aquarium males are here uh yeah the males are in a different aquarium in comparison to the females right and the males are normally smaller in size than the female right so the males are the males are smaller in size than the female right and um they will actually chase each other right around the little aquarium which they have while these females will end up getting stomachs that are really very large right and when i've seen them looking very large now then i will take out a male and a female and i'll use the same procedure that i did i'll put the link to that video um at the at the within the description of this video so you can actually see how i do it so this is like a starter for my barbs and my texture to be bred so i'll keep you up to date I showed it to you um, when they are ready to be placed together and I show you every step and hopefully this time when fries do come uh, they will be able to go to fruition. A few months ago these tiger barbs were nowhere to be found within the pet shops. I could have found um, tetras but I couldn't find any barbs right um, so I found them and I've, I've always liked the idea of breeding them, but um, it is a little bit technical because they, it's just like the cardinal and the neantetra, 
very very sensitive to water parameters including temperature so uh join me in the next video uh video update on these fish i showed you uh where we are at regarding uh these fish bye bye for now catch you next time peace